Man, I was scrolling on Facebook like I normally do, and I came past a post that said everyone is in attendance for Pau Gasol's jersey ceremony. Jersey retirement. And I'm confused. Maybe I'm not educated enough on Laker history. And maybe some of y'all can refresh my memory. If there are real diehard Laker fans like myself that want to question, because you would never be able to question my loyalty. But because I could have did a channel talking about several other things by now. Like, I get views. The one thing I can do is generate views. So I can talk about anything. So you can never question my Laker loyalty. But if you want to check me on not being um, hip to Pau Gasol resume or how great of a player Pau Gasol was, I'm sorry, but Pau Gasol is not great enough of a player to be having his jersey retired. That's just my honest opinion. What has Pau Gasol done to deserve having his jersey retire in the rafters with some of the greatest legends. There are people who will say they'll make the argument, oh, well, without Paul Gasol, Kobe Bryant would just be stuck with three rings. Well, I'll counter and challenge that by saying, well, I guarantee you that if LeBron James had Paul Gasol, LeBron James wouldn't have rings at all. Pau Gasol will never be in the conversation as one of the greatest top big men of all time. That's the ultimate spit in the face to George Mikan. A spit in the face to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Wilt Chamberlain. Like, some of the greatest big men. Shaquille O'Neal. Pau Gasol is never going to be considered a top NBA's top great 75 player of all time. That's what Kobe won with. Look at Kobe Bryant's roster and who he won with from that run from 06, 07, all the way till 2010, 2011-ish. None of those guys was nearly as great as the team that LeBron James had. And that's the argument. The team that LeBron James had with the Miami Heat. He had a bunch of all-stars and stars on that team. Go down the list. The man had Ray Allen, one of the greatest three-point shooters of all time. Dwayne Wade, who's considered a top three shooting guard of all time. Who won a championship on his own already. Was a finals MVP. Am I tripping bro? Why are we honoring Pau Gasol? There's no way that LeBron James would have elevated the play of Pau Gasol. And lifted him up to be a great player that he was. To help them win titles. It's simple as that. Bro they could have put Derek Fisher jersey up there. Before they put Pau Gasol jersey up there. They could have put Nick Van Exel jersey up there. But you know what this is? I see right through it. It's a market ploy. The Los Angeles Lakers are going broke. They have nothing else to sell. LeBron James, your best player, your marketing tool is out injured. You're really not. You're more than likely not going to make the playoffs. So this is all they have to sell at this point. They're trying to find every reason to grab your dollar. They're not generating any views at the moment. The Lakers suck. They're not generating any money. And I said that this will happen in one of my most recent videos. I said it. I said, where do the Lakers go from LeBron James breaking the record? Where do they go from there? Because... If you notice, they had two ceremonies back to back. Man, these little kids walking in there, they don't know. They like number 16. Who is this? 
This younger generation don't know who Pau Gasol is. They don't know who Pau Gasol is, bro. And yes, he may be very close to the Bryant family. But let's be honest, Pau Gasol hasn't done enough to have his jersey in the rafters. And pretty soon, you're going to have players out there wearing number 100. They're going to have their jerseys, their jersey numbers in the 100s because there's no more jerseys to wear. What has Pau Gasol done that deserves to put his jersey up there in the rafters, bro? He wasn't a really dominant big man. And without Kobe, if let's say Pau Gasol played on the Lakers without Kobe, what would his numbers look like? Hell, a lot of people only know Pau Gasol because he played with Kobe. If we being honest, Kobe Bryant, they was going to figure it out regardless. But the Lakers are broke. They're not generating any money. They losing out on money because they're not going to make the playoffs. They can't sell the rich history no more. They try to go with the theme of they try to sell LeBron James breaking the record. Like you can't brainwash the fans no more. People are waking up. They're seeing this dumpster fire. You got a player who really don't care about the game, who just going out there padding his stats. That's why he getting booed at the Super Bowl. He's giving the franchise and the fans his butt to kiss. And Jeannie Buss, you just disrespecting your father once again. What are you honoring Pau Gasol for? Y'all not generating no views. Now y'all trying to sell Pau Gasol jersey. That's what we come to. You got to sell Pau Gasol jerseys. <laughs> like, seriously, bro. You're honoring Pau Gasol you got LeBron James. You got LeBron James. That should be good enough, but it's not because he's not respected. The fans don't love him like that. His fans do, but not the Laker fans. And you had a nerve to disrespect your own fan base, Jeannie Buss, and say, if you don't like LeBron, then you're not a real Laker. If you don't welcome LeBron, then you're not a real Laker. Do you still feel that way, Jeannie Buss? Are you going to tell the LeBron James fans that if they don't respect the real Laker fans, that they not real Lakers and they not welcomed? No, you didn't stand with us. You didn't defend us. No. And this is what you get. You getting what you deserve. Y'all running the organization and with Dr. Jerry Buss built into the ground. Y'all tarnishing your dad's name and your dad's legacy. So, yes, you should feel awful for what that fan wrote to you in your DMs on Twitter. You should feel horrible because this is what, this is what you get. This is the result. This is the product that you putting out on the floor. Got LeBron James coming in there. Faking injuries out there, got a boot on, talking about some he heard something pop, but then get up running. He heard something pop, but then got up and running up and down the floor. Make it make sense, bro. Like, this is the travesty, bro. It's insane. You got the motivational speaker in Darwin Ham. It, it's, it, it's just crazy, bro. Why are we honoring Pau Gasol? They got his jerseys all throughout the chairs like he's some legend. The last time we seen jerseys that, that was put on the chairs is when Kobe Bryant and Gianna passed. And now I'm starting to believe, I'm really starting to believe all this is staged, bro. And they trying to do whatever they can to generate money. Fake deaths and everything, bro. I, 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 I'm sorry, but I got to say it. Because it's just starting to seem too forced. Everything is starting to seem too forced. You know, having a conversation on whether LeBron James statue should be outside. How is that a conversation? You haven't even gave us a schedule or an update on when Kobe Bryant's statue will be put outside of Crypto Arena. 
make that make sense. They ain't even put Kobe Bryant's statue outside of crypto arena yet, but they having a conversation about LeBron James statue. All this man has is a bubble title that doesn't even count, that nobody respect. We talking about a player who's been out the playoffs and had a subpar. Oh my God, bro. Talking about the guy who got a losing record in the NBA Finals. Praise for having the highest IQ in basketball, but has the most turnovers. Make that make sense. You got a big baby, 6'8", 260-some pounds, crying about getting fouled, and the opposing defender barely even made contact. He elbowed me. They talk about, oh, well, it's the referees. The referees making us not want to watch the game because of bad calls. Bro, they've been making bad calls since the NBA started, bro. They've been making bad calls. Been making horrible calls. Whole lot of missed calls for Kobe. You ain't see Kobe crying and complaining and throwing temper tantrums and falling to the floor like some little kid. Come on, bro. It's disrespectful to the game. Has played on multiple super teams, including one with the Los Angeles Lakers with Russell Westbrook and Anthony Davis, Carmelo Anthony, and all the other all-stars that he had. But somehow, the man still only has four rings and has never three-peated a day in his life. He's supposed to have more championships than the other greats, than Kobe and Jordan, because he's had more of the talent. It's ridiculous, bro. I, I, I just don't get it no more, bro. Like, like I said, they're not generating ratings. Nobody's buying with the Lakers the product that the Lakers are putting out on the floor, and they losing money. They can't sell that prestige no more because fans are waking up. They're not watching. It's ridiculous. You can't use drama and sell drama to us no more because we're not buying it. Genie bus. Like I said, if you want to really make some money, then put Kobe Bryant's statue outside. That's when you do a ceremony. That's how you do a ceremony. Put Kobe Bryant's statue outside and sell that. I'm pretty sure fans will line up to see Kobe Bryant's statue outside. Come on, bro. They stand out in the blistering cold. I'd do it. I'd be like Stan. Standing outside in the blistering cold and you just said no. Like, I'd be out there standing out there waiting for Kobe Bryant statue to be put up. Because it's well deserved. He earned it. He earned it. And that's no disrespect to Powell, but Powell ain't done enough, bro. Hell, y'all might as well put Dwight Howard up there. Y'all might as well retire Dwight Howard jersey next. Who's next? Go, go, go. Who's next? Go. Like, who are y'all putting up there next, bro? This is ridiculous, bro. And it's, it's pathetic. It's sad. It's a disgrace. Like I said, LeBron James, a good player. Pau Gasol is a good player. But these guys' jersey shouldn't be retired. They ain't done enough. They ain't did diddly squat. LeBron James, his time with the Lakers has been a travesty. He's faking injuries. He's waiting for his son, Bronny James. That's all. He's waiting for Bronny James. But fans are tuning out. That's all it's coming down to. Fans are tuning out. They tired of it. They sick of it. They sick of it. This is ridiculous. Pau, we retire in Pau Gasol. I'm out.